you want to get rid of that background noise. But how do you do it? Noise gate, expander, which one do you use? The expander or the noise gate? Today, we're going to find out which one is best for you. And we're going to find out which one would work best for podcasters recording their podcast episodes. Stick around. You're watching a Start to Finish Podcasting Quick Tip. Brought to you by the Start to Finish Podcasting TV Network with Andre Lewis. Welcome to the Start to Finish Podcasting TV Network. And today I'm going to help you choose between a noise gate and an expander to help you get rid of your background noise in your recording. So to understand which one works better for you is to understand what these two plugins do. Now I'm going to start with the noise gate. The noise gate, it's a tool. It just takes away the background noise completely. However, when you speak again, it's going to open up a gate in which that's why we call it a noise gate. It's going to open up a gate to let that background noise back in. And I'll explain that a little deeper. Um, noise gate. When you use this plugin, you set a specific threshold and with that threshold that you set, it's going to eliminate any background noise below that threshold. So let's just say I set the threshold at 40 decibels It's going to eliminate any, uh, any signal under 40 decibels. And it's just going to, straight up eliminated. So anything that's under 40 decibels is going to get eliminated. Now let's just say you have a quiet part and you know, somehow your, your, your voice goes under 20 decibel, uh, 40 decibels. It's going to eliminate. It. And then you're going to sound like, you know, your voice is coming in and out and that's not good. So the noise gate, I don't particularly use it that much because it doesn't give you any leeway in terms of the decibel. It's not, it's the des the threshold. I mean, the decibel threshold, it's not given any way. It's not lenient. It's either this or that it's either it is or it isn't. So let's just say, I'll give you a good example. You are with your son in a theme park. You go to a ride and you say, Hey, I want to get on this ride with my son. They say, okay, well, you have to be six feet tall or above. So let's just say you're six feet, you're six feet, six foot two. It's going to let you in. Okay. Now let me start over because I think I'm using the wrong scenario. I just want to get to make sure you guys get a clear understanding of what I'm talking about. So let's just say you want to get on this ride. And you have to be six feet or above. Okay. Just like I said, you have to be six feet tall or above. Anything under six feet will not get on the ride. So you're six feet. Your son is, let's just say five feet. And that guy is not going to let your son on the ride because he's only five feet. Whereas you, you're over six feet. So it's going to let you through. That's what a noise gate does. It lets a signal through set at a specific threshold. So let's just say you get on this. The, the guy says, okay, well you can get on the ride, but your son can't because he's not six feet. Now let's just say your son um, is five feet, 11. He's almost six feet. So, you know, it would give some leeway say, okay, your, your son's almost six feet. He can go ahead in. a noise gate. Doesn't do that. A noise gate says, if you're not under this, if you're not, if you're under this threshold, you are not getting in. Anything above this threshold will will come through. So that's what that that noise gate does. It it doesn't give any leeway. But unfortunately, let's just say the guy lets him in the park. I mean, on the ride, and he opens up the door to let the guy in to get on the ride, and then all of a sudden, guess who sneaks through that gate or that that door while it's open? While it's open, the kid. So he's opening up. 
the the door to let the guy get on a ride. But then again, his kid sneaks right in as he walks in too. And that's what a noise gate does. So if the threshold is at 40 decibels and you are speaking and you're over 40 decibels, it's fine. It's going to let you through. But there's other noises that they're going to let through also because the gate's open. It's not just going to let you through. It's going to let everything through. Every signal that, that comes through is going to come through if you're speaking over 40 decibels. So that's why the gate is kind of a, it's either this or that. It's a black and white A, B type of, of deal. If your voice is over 40 decibels, it's going to open up the gate. And whatever noise is outside, whatever noise is um, in your house, it's going to let that through also. So that's why the noise gate is not a choice that I particularly use because it's not negotiable. Now, let's get into an expander. Now, there's two types of expanders. You have an upward expander and a downward expander. We're going to talk about the downward expander, but I'm going to let you know what an up, up, uh, blah, 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 what an upward expander does. An upward, ex, upward expander, try saying that fast. An upward, upward expander, it will take the lowest part of a signal and bring it up a little bit. So if it's just too quiet, it will take that signal and bring it up. So let's just say somebody was talking too low and they're, they're talking too low and you, you can barely hear them. That upward expander will take that signal, that person's voice and the signal and bring it up a little bit so you can actually hear it. So that's what an upward expander does. And you, you can usually, you can usually use that for somebody who talks too low. Um, people who don't, have great mic technique where they just turn away from the mic and look this way and look that way. And they're not speaking, speaking into the mic. So that's what an upward expander does. Now a downward expander kind of works like a noise gate, but it's more negotiable. Okay. It's going to give you a little leeway. It's not going to say, okay, if it's above this, uh, if it's below this, then we, we do this, we do that. So that, uh, an downward expander helps you a lot. It, it does better than a noise gate. So what a downward expander does, it takes the lowest part of the signal and brings it down. Okay. Did you hear me? It takes the lowest part of the signal and bring and brings it down. Upward expander takes the lowest part of the signal, brings it up. Downward expander takes the lowest part of the signal and brings it down. Now, why does that help you? Okay, so let's just say we have those same noises out there. Lawnmower, planes flying over your house, kids yelling, refrigerator buzzing, computer fan going crazy, air conditioning just going off the chain. A noise gate, if you use a noise gate, you will hear that when you speak. If you're not talking and it's silent, it's not going to pick it up, but a noise gate, when you start talking, all of that stuff is going to come in because the gates open with an expander. It's different. An expander will take those background noises, depending on where you set the threshold, you just set your threshold to a specific uh, threshold where it'll pick up all those noises and it'll take that lower signal and not cut it out. It will lower it. That depends on your ratio because you have with with the noise gate, you're using a threshold to you're setting a threshold with a expander. You're using a thresh, you're using a threshold, setting a threshold, but you also have a ratio. So depending on the ratio, that's how much it's going to take out that lower part of the signal. So just for clarity, an expander gate, it's going to take the lowest part of the signal and bring it down based on how much it brings it down is based on your ratio. So let's just say you have all those things that I mentioned, it's going to lower it so much that you don't even hear it. So if you can, you, you can't hear it right now, but right now I purposely have the air on. I purposely have a air conditioner running and the vent is right above me. I have the buzzing from the 
uh, freezer right here in back of me. There's a, I don't know if you can see it right there. That's a, that's a deep freezer. And I have, um, some noise in the background. My kids are back there. They're not playing or anything like that, but they're talking. And usually if I have, if I don't have this stuff on, you can hear it. If this mic, you know, this is a SM7B. Doesn't pick up a lot, but it, for some reason it picks up. My daughter's talking in the background. They're right outside the door. So um, all of that's going on and you don't hear it because that expander gate is taking that signal and it's bringing it down so you don't hear it. So that's the difference between the expander gate. Why do I keep saying expander gate? That's the difference between the expander and the noise gate. The noise gate is going to cut it out. It's either this or that, you know, it's either below. If it's below that threshold, I'm taking it all out. And when you talk, I'm bringing it all back in. The expander gate is negotiable. It's going to say, Hey, how much of this, how much of this signal, this low signal, do you want me to take? How far do you want me to take it down based on your ratio? So which one works better for you? It all depends. It all depends on you. I would think in, the mo in most cases, if you're a podcaster and you're not doing music, the expander will work best for you because as podcasters, we, we have a lot of fan noise and we have a lot of air conditionings running and we have outside factors that stop us from having a good recording without the expander. That includes people outside, uh, noises, your wife calling you like she is now, but you don't hear it. Thanks expander gate. There I go saying expander gate. Thanks expander. So we don't hear that. So what I would use between the noise gate or the expander, uh, I'm going with the expander because it's negotiable and it just doesn't cut out every single noise. It's, it's not a, a, it's not a either cut it is there or it isn't on um, the expander works best for me. I like the expander. It really does a good job. Um, but like I said, it all depends on you. So if you like the expander, let me know, leave a comment below. If you like the noise gate, do the same thing. Let me know what works best for you. I really want to know. Um, leave a comment. Let me know. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you have a better understanding of what a noise gate does and what an expander does. If you have any questions, of course you can leave me a comment. I'll do my best to answer it. Um, if not, just make sure you subscribe. If this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to the start to finish podcasting TV network, and you will not miss out on future videos of tips and tricks and all that other stuff. So Take it easy and be good and keep podcasting. Have a great one. Thank you for watching the Start to Finish Podcasting TV Network.